In this video, you're gonna learn how to place text in between layers of people, objects, cars, whatever, in Adobe After Effects. So to begin, I've just got a clip with a lot of different layers of people that I've opened up in After Effects. Uh, and they're, they're almost going in different directions and separating themselves. There's almost like there's different layers already. So what we're gonna do is create a few different cutouts. So first of all, I'm actually just gonna copy and paste this clip one time, just so we always have our clean plate in the background or clean slate. So on the top clip, I'm going to grab my rotor brush tool from the top toolbar. You wanna to double click on that layer. It'll open it up in its own layer panel, not the whole composition. And typically you wanna start working from the first frame where the subject that you wanna cut out appears. So in this case, let's cut out this person here. I will just click and make a selection and After Effects should do a pretty good job. We have the new Rotobrush 3.0, so things should be a little bit faster and easier. If you wanna adjust the brush size here that you're working with, you can always go to Window Brushes and you can pick a, a larger or smaller brush. And then also in the Effect Controls panel, you can adjust the feathering, contrast, and all of that. So we don't have to be super precise because we're just putting text behind. We're not actually needing to cut out the person, but you do want to get a pretty good selection. If you ever, if, if After Effects overextends itself or misses a part, you can try to add another little green line. And if you hold Option on your keyboard, you'll see the brush turn red if you want to tell After Effects not to grab a certain portion. So I'll just undo that a couple times. But once you have your selection, you want to press freeze and After Effects will begin propagating through each frame, trying to keep the subject in mind. In this case, it's actually messing up and, and switching to a different person. But I mean, normally we could just tell, we could cut the clip there or tell After Effects not to do it. But I actually want to show you how that could just work fine for this clip because we want to just select different subjects anyway. So I'm going to press stop here because that's, uh, these people are only here for the first couple seconds. And also you notice this person comes in the very front of the foreground. It feels like they should wipe everything off the screen. So we're probably gonna make another cutout for him. But before we do anything else, I'm, I'm now just gonna grab my text tool. So let's go back to our composition. The type tool will be active. We'll click it and click on our composition and we can type out whatever we want. On the right hand side, you see all the properties like the text, font, size, uh, and all of that. And in the align panel, you can actually just quickly center vertically and horizontally. And you just want to sandwich this above your clean plate layer, but under all your mask cutouts. So this is what we have so far. We notice it sort of switches. You can maybe not do that if you don't want, but let's say when this person that's really close to the camera comes across the screen. It feels like that should cut the clip. That should make the text be hidden. So we're simply going to just create another duplication of our clip. I guess it doesn't really matter. You can Command C, Command V, the one that you already worked on, but just make sure on your top clip to delete whatever effects you had on there, the roto brush that you did. So we have basically just our original clip. And we're just gonna do the same thing again. Double click on this layer grab our rotor brush tool. And this is actually like a very blurry foreground subject. In this case, I'll have to hold option, maybe cut out some of those. And in this case, because it's so blurry, we probably don't even need to get that exact. We can just crank up the feathering quite a bit on the effect controls. So I'll press freeze on this as well. It'll go forward and backward. I'll press stop there because I don't even need to freeze it that much. Actually, a quick little thing there is before you press freeze, you can actually trim this gray working area to tell After Effects which frames to do because you don't want to be sitting all day for a bunch of frames that you're not even doing. So let's see if it did what we wanted. Okay, so yeah, we got this guy here and then it starts picking up other people. But for example, if I definitely didn't want that. I could just unfreeze it, go to this section, and then freeze it again with that new information that I've given After Effects so that 
telling it like we don't want this guy to be selected. Sometimes you also want to be able to cut the clip so that you're not using certain parts of it. So I'll press option and the left bracket key to trim that clip so that it only begins when I want it. And I could even press option and the right bracket key to trim it so it turns off when we don't want it because sometimes the rotor brush can select everything. And then maybe you have a logo or a shape that you put only in between other layers. So some stuff is behind everything. Some stuff is only behind some people. You can play around with different compositions. And also this is pretty complex and crowded of a clip. I can imagine if you have a simpler clip with maybe just a few cars or two people that you could play around with this in different ways. So this is how to place text in between different layers of people or objects in Adobe After Effects. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out some of my other After Effects, Premiere, and Photoshop tutorials on my channel. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.